got the, got the cookbook out there and was a digging around in there and found the recipe for uh, crab cakes. I'm going to call them Arkansas style. Let's get on with it. Let's not be fooling around with this right here. Not make no big deal out of it. And what I got right under is that's two cups. That's two cans. Well, that's it. Ain't much in there. It's six. It's them. That's them six ounce cans of crab meat. Don't start eating this. Uh, right on the get-go here. Don't start eating that right there. Because if you do, you won't have none left. Two cans of crab meat in yonder. And right there is some, um, that's some celery. You know, the little tops, the throwaway part. That's the throwaway part right there. And and you can see about how much it is. A good, decent handful like that right there with a little leftover. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, going on a cup. It's, uh, well, it ain't a cup full. And this right here, that's some, that's some onions that I chopped up. It was a white onion. It's kind of aromatic, if I can tell you. But let's just rake, you know, a little, uh, uh, some more onions than what you would think we would need. Uh, corn. This right here is whole kernel corn. Got it up there at the store. I think it was 50, no, it was uh 89 cents for the can so let's just rake some of that corn right off in there it's been it's been drained and y'all see about how much i put in there it was uh i'm gonna say a handful more or less oh that's looking good we ain't gonna put no egg in here oh that's looking good right there like it is this right here that's that chopped minced garlic you see about how much i got let's just rake all that off in there you can't hardly get too much garlic in something. Put something in there. Stir it around. Ah, yeah. I got, that brought that aroma out. Some black pepper. Just, uh, that, that's a little, well, that's, that was a little bit too much, but I put it in there anyway. It'll be all right. It mixed well. Mixed well. Well, it'll cook away. <laughs> it'll cook away. Clean up as you go. And I've got a little bit. This right here, that's some melted butter. That was about a quarter of a stick, but I'm just going to put, oh, let's just put it all in there. You know, there ain't no need to have no melted butter left over. Stir all that around where it gets a little butter on every bit of it. Don't leave, don't, don't have nothing in there. They got no butter on it. I do, I had some cracker crumbs right there. Y'all see them? Let's put a little salt in there. Twist that top off there where you get you some. Oh, about a, one of them teaspoonfuls. We're going to fry this, these crab cakes. We're going to fry them in some peanut oil in the cast iron skillet. And y'all know I don't like to cook with no eggs. So I got them grits right there. That's, uh, let's look at it. That's a cup of grits. Let's just put them all in there. <laughs> Ain't no need to have no grits left over. A cup of grits. We may put some more grits in there. Now on these on these cracker crumbs right here, just get you a handful about like that and put them in there and stir them up. And it might not be enough. Uh, and I don't think that is. So I'm going to put some more. About this many. Y'all see about how much that was? Just put them in there. Uh, clean up as you go. Stir, 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 stir. Now we're gonna test it out just in a minute here and see if we can make a if we can make a patty. Let's look at it. Y'all see that? Okay, it's it's got too much moisture in it. So we're gonna need some more crackers. That's what I'm telling you. And and, and, and it's due now. It's gonna be a little bit clean up as you go. It's gonna be a little bit of uh uh, oily feeling to your hand because we got them crackers in there, remember? I mean that butter. We got that butter in there, so it's going to have an oily feel, and that's good. That's a good thing. We got we got that corn in there. Don't forget that corn and that. Uh, oh, that's good right there. I think we're going to go with that right there. Let's let's see if it'll make a patty again. Oh yeah, y'all see that? That's going to make a patty pretty good. Oh yeah. We're going to fry them up. Y'all see that? That's not enough. Let's put the rest of them cracker crumbs in there. Don't leave no cracker crumbs unused. Clean up as you go. 
let's try it again. Yeah, that's not going to stick together. So I'll show you. Hey, let me show you. I had that egg. I had that egg laid aside over there. Let's uh, let's see what that egg looks like. Yeah, that's all right. Let's use that egg right there. Whoop him up. Stir that egg up and put that egg in there. Add a sticker together. Now stir all that in there and we'll be good to go. Sometimes you have to. And that's that's the thing about country style cooking. You know, if something ain't right, uh, use what use whatever it takes. Now mix this good. This really needs to be mixed good right here. You want some egg everywhere. Between them grits and that egg, it's gonna stick together real good. Oh yeah. That's that looks even better at just mixing it with the spoon. Now we're gonna be alright. I'll show you something. Now. Now. Much better. See that right there? You you can you can you you can fix it as you go. Let's get over to that skillet and we'll fry them up. Got that peanut oil in that there cast iron skillet. And if you look at it, you can kind of see a little ripply. It's kind of, it's hot. The, the, the way to test your oil if it's ready to cook is is to take a, take a little a little pinch of whatever it is you're cooking and drop it in there and see how it fries. See that's that's frying pretty pretty quickly. So so that's that gives us an indication. That's good to go. Let's put us a couple in there. And just gently put them right in there. Uh, this is going to be a little bit too hot. I can already tell by the sizzle. So I will turn this down. And it's better if you can if you can fry them on one side without turning them over to look at them. Be careful now when you put them in there. Be very careful. The oil is very hot. It's frying a little bit too much. So I'm going to cut back on the burner heat. And, and where I have it set at now is uh, one, one notch past medium. So I'm going to bring it back to fairly close to medium and I'm gonna let these fry for about four minutes and then we'll uh, we'll turn them over clean up as you go keep the work area clean clean up as you go while they're frying I'm going to make a peanut sauce to go along with this dinner plate. Four minutes has went by, so let's turn them over. Be very careful, the oil is hot. Uh, yeah, him gonna be good. Four minutes later, side number two. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna put them off on some paper towels, and we'll we'll recharge the skillet. But I'll show you something. The uh, you see the other side? Oh, that's looking good. And we got some crumblies in there. Oh, them crumblies. Them crumblies is what you what you uh, see that. Oh, they're ready to go. Them crumblies, we're, we're going to serve them right along, right along with the uh, with the serving. Them them crumblies is uh, oh, we needed them crumblies. Let's get them out there. I am going to be good if I may present the. Uh, finished product oh it just they look beautiful here on site they smell good the the kitchen just smells wonderful 
And and, and let, let, let me go ahead and tell you something on the get-go right here. You, you can't get this kind of cooking right here in a crock pot. Write that on the wall over there. Let's serve them up. The way we're going to serve, the way we're going to serve this dish is uh, rice. This is uh, brown rice, a fairly, fairly, uh, a, a pretty decent portion brown rice. Oh, it's going to be good. Ain't nothing like some real good hot steaming brown rice to warm the soul. On the uh, on that there bed of rice, we're going to put some some diced. These are diced tomatoes, store bought. Not too many, but like that. Oh, it's gonna be good. Y'all feel free to uh, to leave a comment. And I've got something right here. Y'all see that? <laughs> That's going to be good. And let's get us a, let's get one of these, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's going to be good. And y'all see I saved them, I saved them crumblies there. That's, uh. You know, put you some of them crumblies on there just kind of, kind of to prove it was home cooking. Some crumblies on the side, they good too. If you've got it, right now would be a good time for a little squeeze of lemon or lime juice. I just don't got one, but for a green vegetable let's uh green beans a good southern staple with most any meal green beans the uh drink of the day is a good sweet southern tea and this right here this this dipping sauce this dipping sauce right here uh, this is it's equal parts mustard, equal parts brown mustard, mayonnaise, and peanut butter all mixed together. And you put some of this right here, just kind of, kind of dripping right on there. Oh, that's gonna be good. <laughs> that's gonna be good. I'm telling you. Well, and and let, let me caution you again. Oh, we're gonna need a little more. That's not enough, fair. A good dipping sauce with a uh, crab cake that was inspired a recent trip to the great state of Louisiana, but prepared Arkansas style. The uh, clean up as you go. Presentation is everything. The uh, uh, let's sample us a piece of it here. We would be a, we would be. We would be remiss if we didn't sample this. We, we would definitely be remiss. Oh, y'all see that's cooked all the way through. You know what? I've cooked some things in the past. You know, I've said that before. That I cooked some things in the past that was uh, just un unbelievable good. Excuse me. Let's try a little of that dipping sauce right there.
from here on the east coast of Arkansas. Well, that's downright delicious. Let's top it off with this sweet tea. Enjoy.